Hello everyone, welcome to lecture 2. In the lecture 2 is about ServiceNow ticketing system. So you go to Google, you type service ServiceNow demo. This is how you're going to do your training on ServiceNow demo. So once you click on ServiceNow demo, you will be uh, you're seeing basically uh, ServiceNow demo. Well, what ServiceNow is also a corporate level ticketing system. Now we worked before the lecture, lecture one was on open source one which has a very nice ability to do things but it's free so it's not that very, it's, it's not used in a very uh, big corporate environment. For example if a school has 70 campuses uh, I'm not sure if that can handle that. <coughs> now this kind of system will handle definitely something at that level and it's very expensive too. Um, uh, Remedy, ServiceNow, and some other big ones are kind of expensive to buy. So the only way you can do training right now is to go to demo.service-now.com and this is where you are going to be doing your training. Now you see there are three roles uh, and I can explain some things that this is not you. Um, the system administrator will be creating this for you. Basically the environment, like the whole platform of how you're gonna go into this and do all that stuff. So you're not doing anything like that. So you're not signing is at this person. Uh, what you're gonna be signing is this right here, IT department, IT, ITL is a password. And who are you going to be dealing with is right here, the employees. So what are we gonna do first is we're gonna log in as employee. And now this training is again about ServiceNow ticketing system. And at the end, you will soon find out that what we are trying to, what this course is about, is basically telling you how how everything is so it's, it, everything is so simple, and it's like everything in any ticketing system. All it all it is is to create a tickets, assign a tickets, close the tickets, and assign it to different groups. It's all about that. It's nothing more than that. Now, if it's expensive because the way it handles a lot of people, a lot of campuses, and it has some other modules that are pretty much expensive. So we're going to log in as employee. Now, what employees in service now does, it depends how you customize it, but the, the normal look of it is going to be like this. Very simple one. It shows the employee just like the in the um, in the this Spiceworks. Spiceworks, we have a, a, a portal that you could, could customize and do all that stuff. <coughs> this one has its own portal too you will see the same link that you're going to be uh, basically putting a link somewhere in your portal or site so people can access this the other thing about this is the active directory uh, single sign-on you can do that basically if you are a domain user you can click on it, the link and you will automatically sign into this uh, system and that's I guess the same way with Spiceworks too and any, any other systems that's one of the things that people really want <coughs> So, if a user wants to create a ticket in ServiceNow, all they have to do is to click on Incidents. You can click Create an Incident from here, or you can go to your home page <coughs> and create a new incident. So, again, you click on Incident, you have Create Incident here, or you can go to the home page. <coughs> we'll click on Create, create New Incident. <coughs> so, Joe is an employee and he thinks that he's having a high level problem. It's a very important. And a short description, computer here is off. My computer is not working anymore. Now this is a very high level problem because he can do anything. So of course it's gonna be number one. He submit this issue <coughs> and automatically it will create just like that Spiceworks one it created a history uh, like a small description history my computer is not working high new blah 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 and it created an incident number so his part is done over here now what we are going to do we're going to log out and we are going to log in as you as a person help this person or any IT person who is basically in charge of ticketing system and so you log in as uh, IT 
so you log in as IT and now you see all this graphs and everything which is quite handy um, but what you're gonna be doing is you when you come to basically when you go to the service now the most important one is that this one right here you you this might be on the top of the it depends how you add your content over here but this might be on the top like w whenever somebody send a ticket it should be on the top the unassigned one so when you come or any other text they can see it on the top so you click on here and then you see that right here um, Joe computer is off now one thing I noticed I should have updated that level in here because when I sent it it looks like it didn't update it so I'm gonna click on it impact on employee is high urgency is low and I'll say high too because he needs that right away he needs that help right away now this was assigned to service desk now in service now they can you can work with them they might have a department and people will work 24 7 in this group and they assign it to your group or they might resolve it even before it comes to you but if you don't have that ability they will directly assign it to your group wherever you are I will assign it to you so I'm here this is my name in this system <coughs> assignment group assigned to is me which is this right here I'll change it to myself and then I'm going to come and do my comments I fixed the issue so when you do that you basically now it depends how you configure your system there might be some of the things that you really have to answer before closing a ticket so let's see how they configure it you can click on resolve incident <clears throat> so once you resolve incident you'll see okay the following manager fields are not filled in close notes work notes close I mean that they, they need then they must so these red signs they have to be done before you close anything so you have to type all the information so then in future if someone open a ticket they will have all the information that you did so <clears throat> work not list the following uh, are not filled so you can see that some of the some of the things are not still not filled right now before it's not going to let me close it so you have to type your work notes in there like what you did I did blah 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 blah, blah. and then let's see if I can close it right now I still can't close it the list needs to be upgraded so where's the list you have to basically kind of like work around on this one so this is the work note list and see the little red sign how quickly I found it so you have to do it that that way so I added myself to the list and it depends not all the companies will require all this needs to be done before some of them are just very simple like spice works you open a ticket you assign it to yourself you close it and boom it's closed but some of the companies they want you to be more detailed about closing anything like that because it might be something very sensitive so when you close it it should close after this now so everything is done that ticket is resolved so when you click on resolve you will see any other open tickets in the same area and then you start working on that tickets too now how do you find that same ticket if you are if you want to go back and change some stuff into it you can always go a different way you can go to close tickets and you can go by assign to me so if you click on assign to me and if it's like very recent the dates are up you will see right here the computer is off and it's resolved and all the information over here you can also find this this ticket if you know the incident number of this ticket you can also uh, find it over here so if you come here and then assign you can click the number INC 001 and that's most of the time this happens when someone call you oh can you find out what happened to this ticket I have a number and then you quickly go in here the searching ability you have to use that you, you know how to use that like in the beginning I was saying that you need to learn how to search ticketing <coughs> So see I, I, I just clicked the number and then that just gave me the information and quickly I can go to this ticket and find out what she's talking about or that person trying to inquire about the tickets. <coughs> um, other things about uh, the service now is you can basically go to the knowledge base and it has, they have a nice um, page where you can you can it depends on what permissions you have you can create a knowledge base and then you will add it to the email news journal and that's totally up to your um, department head how they organize this stuff so they will put their information in here 
other things like I said this is a, a big corporate level so they will have a lot of modules in here you can basically uh, do reporting in different levels you can go to here configurations and you will see all these different different stuff that you didn't see in Spiceworks that is the difference between a corporate level uh, ticketing software and a free one free one might not have everything but will have a very basic and powerful uh, features other major things in service now are service catalogs I mean there are very quick ways to do a quick uh, things that is keep coming to you again and again for example resetting a password purpose of a new project creating a new incident so for example if someone calls for reset a password which is a very common incident so you click on reset a password and then you okay you have a lot of applications in your company what application are we talking about you click here and you say oh I need a people soft uh, <coughs> So this is the password that I need. Um, how would you like to be contacted with a new password? And you click on email, and then you <coughs> submit that. So see, it created another incident quickly. So this is a quick incident, basically. You're not you're not going to create an incident, and you're not typing the username and blah blah blah. You just go the one time. You just pick the username, and it will do that for you. Um, so it created that incident. Basically, you can go back and find that incident the way we did that's one way you can do with the catalog information and it's very I, I like that features in this uh, system other very common one is new employee hire that is basically it can be handled in in other ways too but if you're handling it from a service in our desk you can click here and it will quickly give you employee name and then uh, employee title you can director in department is IT you can basically search what department they're working for so you click on IT and then additional services required for this person and then you can you can basically go ahead and do all this stuff from this this ticketing system you can check it out to them and you can see how it made that whole list of that what needs to be done so submit an order you see it will submit that order for you so <coughs> related to this request <coughs> this will route through that whole whatever you requested other quick way to find um, incidents the summary of all the incidents one is through the home page <coughs> which is shows you kind of reporting you can change this stuff and one is through overview so you, when you go to the left side and click on this you will see all the incidents so if you d if you um, put this one priority one incident should be on the top you see all the priority one incidents Incident summary counts. You can see critical incident. It will tell you how many, and you can click on them, and you'll direct. You will be directed to that overview. So, for example, we click on number this one right here. So all the critical came in, and oh my god, I gotta see. I gotta finish some of these pretty quickly. You know, and they need some urgent uh, attention. This is how you do um, uh, in incident. Now you you quickly go to the critical. So you go to overview, and then. <coughs> You will go to the critical ones or any other ones. You just click on it, and that will take you to the the critical ones. And then the same process starts again. Like I told you, that's going to be the same in any, any ticketing system. You click on that that incident, and then boom, you just start the same work again and again, and again and again, till you master it. You might have you might just learn some chords in there. You just have to type T I, and then it will uh, shoot down the whole group in there. So that's how you create a ticket and do everything in service now um, it, there's nothing else you can basically um, the other things are like I said it's more towards the admin side and manager side so this is what you need to learn in the service now to be able to experience and you can always come to demo.service-now.com and play around with the creative tickets close it duplicate them um, just do anything that you can from your side and then once you go to your job you when someone asks you do you know how to create a ticket in service now you say yes I know how to create a ticket I know how to do this I know how to do that and if they ask you to can we do a demo and they'll pull up the same site in front of you and then tell you okay can you create a ticket as an employee can you assign a ticket can you accept a ticket can you close a ticket can you do this can you search a ticket and they will they'll take a little small test from you and from here you can do that now and this is where you will kind of show your expertise in this um, my profile and take service these are all different Th this is active directory based so you don't have to worry about this this will be synced from your active directory and you'll have all different information over here all right so this was service not ticketing system the next one will be uh, <coughs> track it uh, which is also I showed you let me see if I can go back to that resume 
Here, it's one of the resume <coughs> about uh, help the specialist job in, uh, and they're paying $35,000. So if you guys want to apply for it, it's still up right now. Prince Georgia Community College, <laughs> you guys can go apply to that one. And you can, s can see right here the requirement is track it. So we are going to do the next video, we will be working on track it. Alright, see you guys in the next video.